Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at two very special transitions in Keynote. So there are two transitions in Keynote that actually look at the elements on one slide and another slide and do something special between the two slides. The first one I want to look at is Magic Move. So Magic Move works with objects like pictures. So here I've got a slide with four pictures on it. And what it will do is allow you to transition the positions of those pictures from one side to the next. So the key thing you need to do is to make sure you have two slides that have the same pictures on them. The easiest way to do that is to arrange them like this and then simply duplicate the slide. I'm going to control click on it and select duplicate and I end up with two slides that are exactly identical. Now on the second side I want to move the pictures so they're in different location. So let's just do something simple like actually swap them diagonally like that. And like that. So now you can see that I've swapped them diagonally. All I need to do now is go into the inspector. And with the inspector, I can set the transition for the slide to be magic move. And it'll even show me what it's going to do here. So it'll transition from one to the next, and I can set the duration of it. And when I go back to this slide two here and I hit play, and I transition with the spacebar, you can see it actually moves them around. Now it's important to know it will move it to wherever I put it. So if I kind of arrange them in all sorts of crazy positions like this, then I hit play, it will stick them in those crazy positions. Or for instance, let me undo that, I can go to the first slide and let's say let's have everything be together like this. And now you'll see, do it like that and it slides out. So there's really a ton of different combinations of how you can use this by basically moving pictures around and having them fly into positions. You do more than just pictures. So I can have a bunch of different items here, a shape, some text, a chart, a picture. I can duplicate this and on the second slide I can move these around wherever I want and then set this to be magic move between them and you can see it's going to move all these different elements. Although you can see the chart it kind of just fades in and fades back out but at least it handles it. So in a sense you're animating graphics by just moving their positions. This would be very useful especially if you need to animate some movement in a video. You can actually do that in Keynote whereas you can't do that in iMovie and do the animation then export it as video and bring it into your iMovie project. So let's look at a transition that just deals with text. So I've got two slides here of text and I've just taken the first one here and I've duplicated it and then changed the text for the second slide. So now it's all set up to use the anagram transition. So I'm going to go to the inspector. For the slide I'm going to set the effect to be anagram. And I have two options here, straight across or arcing. You can see how arcing works. In this case, since it doesn't pick out very many letters to use in the transition, arcing works a little bit better. So now when I play from one to the other, I create this nice kind of text transition. It's good for going from one point that's in text to another point that kind of opposes it in some way or adds to it. Using the anagram transition really depends on the two pieces of text that you're transitioning between. Something that's very short and doesn't share very many letters isn't going to look good, but something maybe where there's a slight change in the lettering will look really good. So I hope you found these two transitions useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMos Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.